Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the life and times of Crazy Patrick. Today, I have brought you out to the location where Pat Garrett was murdered. Uh, he was murdered uh, right in this spot right here. Uh, it's called Alameda Wash now. But uh, I'll get you the rest of the information in just a minute. I wanted to show you this real quick. There is a there is a plaque here. They've taken care of this place so so people don't disturb it. But I want to get that up there on you. It's an Alameda Arroyo. And uh, Pat Garrett, if you don't know, he's the one that uh, killed Billy the Kid, or did he? That's another story. But he was a sheriff of Lincoln County. He was also a former sheriff of Doniana County, where we live right here in Las Cruces. And uh, this is a site he was killed in uh, 1908. I'm going to pause this now, and I'll be back with the rest of the story. You can see here, that the area is really, really, really desolate. But Garrett, this, I'm going to relay the story as I know it. Uh, Garrett was the sheriff of Doniana County in 1896 to 19 uh, till to, to 1900. Uh, he made a lot of enemies while he was sheriff. And we're right now, like I say, in Alameda Arroyo. And it's real, the, the road up this power line is pretty bad. I hiked in from, you know, I don't know if you can even see them. I'll try to zoom in. From way over in those houses over there, it's got to be at least a mile and a half. I hiked in from there. I'm not going to give the exact location uh, due to the fact I don't want vandals coming in here and uh, vandalizing this site. This used to be called, back in uh, 1908, Male Scott Road. And uh, Carl Adamson uh, was one of two prospective buyers uh, for Garrett's uh, Bear Canyon Ranch. But Garrett had leased the ranch to a, a, a gentleman named uh, uh, Wayne Brazel. And uh, Brazel put 1,800 head of goats on, on, the, on the ranch. And uh, that really angered Garrett, you know, because cattlemen and goats don't match. Cattlemen and sheep don't match. So... He tried unsuccessfully to break the lease with with Brazel, but the only way Brazel would cancel the lease is if uh, if if uh, the potential buyer, uh, the Bear Canyon uh, Ranch, would buy all the goats. And <coughs> so uh, uh, Garrett's per prospective buyer uh, didn't didn't like that idea. So the, the, the deal was about to collapse. And Andes, Andemson, Adamson, I'm sorry, uh, was in a wagon with Garrett coming down from the Bear Canyon Ranch to Las Cruces uh, when they ran into, uh, into Wayne uh, Brazel right here in this location. And... Uh, Brazel and Garrett got into a heated argument. Uh, Adamson uh, stopped the buggy. Uh, Garrett did have a shotgun in the buggy. Uh, Garrett, uh, uh, Adamson, Adamson son, uh, stopped the buggy here in this location uh, for a rest stop and relieve himself. And, and so Garrett got out. To do the same and had his back to to Brazel 
and there was two gunshots right here two gunshots and Garrett hit the ground dead immediately one of the bullets went through the back of Garrett's head and and out through his left eye the other one there's kind of a some say he was shot in the, in the, in the belly and it came out his back others say he was shot in the left shoulder and uh, and it come out his back in the left shoulder and uh, so uh, Adamson and Brazel Brazel gave the gun to Adamson and Adam Adamson and Brazel went on into Las Cruces where Brazel turned himself into the sheriff and told him that he and uh, Garrett had got into a heated argument. Garrett grabbed the shotgun and pointed it at him and he shot Garrett in self-defense. Well, in, uh, <coughs> uh, he was taken, uh, he, he was put on a $10,000 bond and a rancher that he had worked, worked for before uh, I didn't name a, uh, let me find his name here, W.W. <laughs> uh, w. Cox and Brazel and Cox were good friends, so W.W. Uh, uh, w. Cox was a big rancher and he put up the bond to get Brazel out, out of jail, but uh, he wasn't tried until April 19th, 1909, and the the shooting here happened February 1st, 1908. So it was uh, not quite a year. Uh, Adamson uh, testified that it was self-defense and Brazel, uh, when the jury uh, went in for deliberation, it took less than 30 minutes to find Brazel not guilty. So, a lot of people think that uh, this whole thing was just a setup. That Adamson and Brazel knew each other and it was all a setup to get him in this spot because Garrett had a lot of enemies and, and he, a lot of people wanted him dead. And uh, there was an unsolved murder that Garrett, Garrett was about to solve, and there was a $10,000 reward for whoever solved, solved the, the murder case of Colonel Albert Fountain. And uh, just so happens that uh, uh, there was a meeting in, uh, in El Paso but, uh, with... Uh, 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 Garrett, and, uh, a guy named Garrett, and uh, Adamson, and Miller, and uh, it said that uh, this uh, Jim Miller uh, was paid to kill Pat Garrett, and he was, this was a, a situation where Jim Miller was in at this location and and shot Pat Garrett from a distance with a with a 40 uh, 44 Winchester rifle but uh, just so happens that uh, JB Fall uh, was an attorney and uh, Albert Fountain uh, was also an attorney and he had also ran for he uh, ran for uh, political office in New Mexico. He was once the Attorney General of New Mexico, and when he uh, ran for office, he defeated uh, Albert Fall, and uh, so Fall became his enemy and had it out for him. And just so happens, Fall 
was Brazel's attorney for the murder of Garrett. And uh, Fall had uh, had taken down the 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 Kenny. I, I mean, uh, Fountain had taken down a, a, a group of cattle rustlers, the Kenny Gang, who operated Hillsboro, New Mexico, and Farmington, New Mexico, and uh, he took them down. And uh, when he was a district attorney, a U.S. district attorney, uh, he 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 tar he was targeting. Uh, uh land landowner uh land fraud cases and uh there was some kind of relationship with the group Oliver Lee William Newman and James Gilliland who was uh they were all uh together with uh with his W.W. Uh, Cox. And they had a, had, they wanted to get rid of Garrett. Supposedly they had a, a, a meeting at a hotel in El Paso, Texas. And they p had paid this Jim Miller $10,000 to kill Garrett. And uh, Fountain, uh, had uh, sorry about that Fountain uh, had uh, oh, uh, well Gillian James Gillian Gilliland and Oliver Lee they and they operated a, a a big ranch and Fountain was uh, charging them, uh, them and Oliver Lee and his associates with unlawful cattle branding well you know what that means they were wrestling cattle and uh, Fountain was filing charges on them for that and uh, so he found uh, Colonel Fountain and he's and he, he took his son with him his eight-year-old son to Lincoln County to the courthouse to file a case against Oliver Lee and the others while in court uh, he received a death threat and the notes, note told him to abandon the lawsuit or he wouldn't survive the trip back to Las Cruces. Well, of course, he wasn't going to give up on the lawsuit. So on the east side of San Augustine Pass, which is now White Sands uh, Missile Range, uh, Fountain and his son were murdered. Their their wagons was found uh, looted. There was uh, blood stains marred the ground, but Fountain and his son's body were never ever found. So this meeting that uh, where they hot where the all these guys met at the uh, Regents Hotel in El Paso just so happened to be all the people that. Uh, that wanted uh, Pat Garrett dead because he was fixing to solve the murder case of Colonel Fountain and his son. And th supposedly they had this meeting, W.W. W. W. Cox, Oliver Lee, Jim Gill Gilliland, Albert Fall, which was Brazel's attorney, that uh, got him uh, uh, got got him uh, found not guilty for Garrett's murder. We're all at this meeting, and and it was said that they uh, the, they paid uh, this uh, Albert Fall had a had a he was an attorney had an office in El Paso, and that this Jim Miller went to his office where he received the ten thousand dollars to kill Pat Garrett. So is this all just a coincidence? Or were all those guys responsible, Oliver Lee and his associates, all responsible for Pat Garrett's death? Uh, because he was, he was about to solve the case. And the reason he was still working on that case, even though he wasn't sheriff, 
there was a ten thousand dollar reward uh, that that he was hoping to collect so uh Again, folks, this is the location, exact location, where Pat Garrett was murdered. And just kind of a coincidence that this last uh, August, uh, his grandson, Pat Garrett's grandson, and great-grandson, great-great-grandson, uh, were came in here to this spot to pay respects to uh, their grandfather who had been murdered. So that's kind of interesting too. But with that, I'm gonna kind of show you, <laughs> this is the, this is the kind of stuff I had to walk through <laughs> to get to this location. Uh, I walked an easy, easy uh, mile and a half out through the desert, uh, pretty well marked. I came on a on a road for a while and then there was a motorcycle foot trail that was cutting across and I could spot a landmark where I thought this was so I followed that motorcycle trail and uh, and I got over here okay you know I'm gonna take my time going back and and with that guys I'm gonna tell you have a great rest of your day I'm gonna I'm gonna do the story about did uh, Pat Garrett really killed Billy the Kid, or did Billy the Kid uh, have two burials in his life? Uh, did Pat Garrett really let him go? Because Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid were really good friends at one time. So everybody, you know, there's people believe that Pat Garrett didn't kill Billy the Kid. He actually let him go. But that's for the next story. Guys, we're going to get into that. Uh, I hope I got this story across to you so that you understand it. If you're one of my longtime subscribers, one of my many 6,000 and more subscribers, and you're tuning in, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit those thumbs up. Hit the bell notification so you'll be notified of my next video. And I'm going to tell you now, have a great rest of your day. Stay positive. Stay healthy and God bless.